What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel today I've got some more NBA draft news to of course be talking about with you guys and this time I actually want to talk about how I think the Golden State Warriors might have just selected the most interesting player in the 2022 NBA draft. They've actually suggest, uh, selected Patrick Baldwin Jr. at pick number 28 and the reason I think this is most nearly the most interesting pick is because you really, really don't know what you're going to be getting from Patrick Baldwin. This guy could legitimately be like the biggest steal in the draft, or he could end up being an absolute no one. And I'd actually like to compare this to a player that they took a couple of years ago in Jordan Poole. When Jordan Poole was drafted at, I believe, pick number 28 as well, there was reporters saying he was the worst pick player in the draft and that his efficiency would absolutely kill him in the NBA. He wasn't that good in college and it just was a bad pick. We know that Jordan Poole ended up coming to the NBA and struggling for his first couple of years. The reporter was right. His inefficiency was really bad and he definitely has struggled with that in recent times as well. But in recent times, he's also become one of the best six men in the whole entire NBA and is now an NBA champion who's reportedly going to be getting around 20 to $25 million a year. The Golden State Warriors took a gamble on a guy who did really, really well in their workouts and a guy that they thought they needed because they needed a shot creator off the bench. And now look at Jordan Poole. He's an NBA champion going to be on one of the biggest contracts in the NBA. And I think Patrick Baldwin is going to be a very, very similar guy. If you're the Golden State Warriors, you should be pretty happy with this pick. Because the Golden State Warriors, you know, coaching staff and I think trainers and just their draft experts in general seem to have a very, very good eye on picking talent. Again, I do still question James Wiseman, but even in their most recent draft when they took Jonathan Kaminga, Jonathan Kaminga is a dude that can guard one through four, who some believe is going to be one of the best defenders in the NBA very, very soon. You still got Moses Moody, who's yet to play, but I also think was a fantastic pick by them. I think Moses Moody could also be a very solid wing-type player in the NBA. And now you've got Patrick Baldwin. Now, the issue with Patrick Baldwin, uh, Baldwin, <laughs> Patrick Baldwin, sorry, and why a lot of people don't like him is, is because he actually had a lot of lottery potential coming out of high school but of course he got into college and really really struggled his game didn't seem to translate to the college level and he just struggled with a lot of things not just that there was reports that he was having off-court issues with his dad or something um at the time as well i think his dad was a coach of some sort um, whether of just him or one of the basketball teams, and there was a little bit of issues going around there that they didn't necessarily mesh well. Again, when we look at him, though, he was projected to be a first-round pick, aka a lottery pick, only about less than a year ago. He has now fallen all the way down to pick 28, with some mock drafts, the one I'm looking at actually having him going at 45, so it could have been considered a reach by the Warriors, but I think of good reach. Because we know that he can still come in and be a very interesting defender at six foot ten. He has the level to be able to guard the you know small forward. He has the level to guard the power forward as well. His def uh, defense has been one of the things that has been just kind of keeping him in it and actually getting him to this first round level. But the reason I actually think he could actually be very solid is because he's one of those players that just has massive shooting slumps. And usually those players, once they get consistency through their shooting, can be very good. For example, in his college season, he only had 26.5% from three and 34.5% um, from the two. That's terrible numbers. That is absolutely shocking. But he's also had games where he's absolutely popped off from three and popped off from the mid-range as well. He's also, again, been known to be pretty good defensively with a very good capability of being able to handle the ball. And I think if he was to come in and play his role with the Golden State Warriors, he would be, I think, looked at pretty highly and considered to be a solid player. His NBA draft comparison is actually a poor man's Michael Porter Jr., which I think is fair. Michael Porter Jr. is a 6'10 guy as well, and they both have similar capabilities where they can 
guard the small forward and power forward pretty easily, while also being able to handle the ball and play good defense. Their issue is their inconsistency when it does come from shooting. We know Michael Porter Jr., when he finally was able to play, he started hitting from three. So I definitely feel like Patrick Baldwin is a dude that could also follow in his footsteps and I, I think actually do something pretty well. So the question is, was Patrick Baldwin Jr. the right fit for the Golden State Warriors? And my answer is, he might not be, you know, necessarily match into their system or anything like that, but I think he was the right pick because he's a player that I think is going to be a good gamble and that we know the Golden State Warriors, when they've gambled on these type of players like Jordan Poole before, look at how they turned out in the NBA. If there's any team that is going to turn a gamble like Jordan Poole or Patrick Baldwin Jr. into a good player, I think it's the Golden State Warriors. And we could be looking in five years' time and they could maybe have a starting five that's like... You know, uh, Jordan Poole, Moses Moody, Patrick Baldwin, Jonathan Kaminga, and James Wiseman. I'm sure Steph will probably still be on the team and still starting and being an elite player. But it's just a funny thing to kind of think about how actually underrated the Golden State Warriors young co uh, core is. Touch wood that this doesn't happen, but if a player like um, Clay Thompson was to go down with an injury again... You just got a Moses Moody, a young guy in there that can come in and play big minutes. The Golden State Warriors young core is low-key very underrated, and even though Patrick Baldwin Jr. might not necessarily fit in with their team and their system, I think he was the right pick, and this was a good gamble to make by the Golden State Warriors. I don't think he'll play much in his first year, maybe not even in his second year, but I think as you give him time to progress and develop that three-point jumper and the mid-range, that's really the only thing this guy can't do. Shoot consistently and just be a consistent NBA player. But I think with some training and some, you know, some leaders and mentorship from the Golden State Warriors coaching staff and trainers, he could be a very solid player in the NBA. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think the Golden State Warriors, Warriors, sorry, made the right pick? Or do you think this is a bad pick? Again, I definitely would really like to know. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.